This is one of Oklahoma's largest furniture factories, and Oklahoma Correctional Industries operates inside Joseph Harp Correctional Center. The men build thousands of tables, chairs, and cabinets every year. Some of the guys have come up with a plan for the leftover lumber. It means the world to me just to be able to help out and give back to a community that I've wronged in the past. Whenever we build the motorcycles and things like that, it's to show people that we still care and that we're not lost or forgotten and that we can still give back. The Oklahoma Lifers Association has made dozens of rocking motorcycles and donated yeah. them to charity. Yeah. Uh, the guys ones. were just honored with a commendation from Governor Kevin Stitt. Oklahoma Lifers Association, in celebration of a remarkable decade of service, your dedication and unwavering commitment to improving the lives of those incarcerated in Oklahoma is truly inspiring. Joseph Harp Warden David Rogers personally requested this custom rocker as a special gift. Scottish Rite was something that was very near and dear to my heart because it helps children at no cost to their families. And so I asked them if they would make one for Scottish Rite. When they asked me if there was any place I wanted, it was the first place that came to mind. Scottish Rite for Children treated two of Rogers' kids. The Dallas Hospital provides access to medical care, nutrition, and rehabilitation. I was blown away. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, the detail and the craftsmanship. This week, the Lifers Association presented the custom motorcycle to Scottish Rite. It'll be auctioned off, with all proceeds going directly to the hospital's mission. It means that we're able to take care of more kids, and that's what our mission is, is taking care of our kids and, and giving children their childhood back, and this allows us to do that. Lives are being changed because a group of incarcerated men found their purpose in prison.